So now you're located in? San Diego. San, San Diego, which is famous for? A lot of very famous aviation firsts came out of San Diego as well. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, the, the first aircraft carrier was uh, done in San Diego. The Spirit of St. Louis was actually built in San Diego. Wow. The only reason it was called Spirit of St. Louis was because it was a bunch of businessmen from St. Louis that gave Charles Lindbergh the money to build it. Sort of like the reason why your baseball stadium is called Petco Park, right? Exactly, exactly. They do not allow dogs into the stadium, oddly enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, it all has to do with a, a bunch of businessmen with a bunch of money, right? Exactly. All right, so before uh, we get this segment too long, let's start talking about the wind tunnel that you um, you told me how NASA sets up their wind tunnels. You want to briefly recap that? Uh, well, I, you know, I was, I was impressed that you used a fan to test your theories at first, and uh, and as as I recall, that you were thinking that maybe the, the airflow wasn't exactly right because you tended to get some reactions that torqued your your airframe a little bit in one direction. That's right. Yeah, the, my fan was spinning sort of in a, from my perspective, a clockwise motion, right. and, and that was making my I think making my model kind of want to go to the right. And, and you're entirely right. You know, one thing that when uh, the Wright brothers even used a crude wind tunnel and. One thing that they discovered too was that, gee, you know, it's hard to get the airflow going straight. It's very, very straight, flat, smooth air. You don't want turbulent, spinning air. Mm -hmm. The one, re the one way they do this, the, the, the way that most people do this, is to force it into straight, being straight by forcing it through some kind of, um, uh, like a honeycomb pattern of, uh, of uh, veins. Uh, almost if you, you could imagine. Uh, you know, taking a bunch of toilet paper rolls and sticking them together. Mm -hmm. okay? but, and yeah. that forces the airflow to go straight. So, right. So you mentioned the toilet paper rolls and you mentioned a screen. And uh, so I wanted to get the specifics on that. And I started saving my toilet paper rolls. So I've, I've got, uh, mm, let's see here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Nine, only about ten. So I may have to... Uh, improvise further but uh, so I got about 10 toilet paper rolls and I'm ready for some more specifics okay well now obviously Boeing and, uh, and NASA do not use toilet paper rolls uh, they use metal pairs but uh, yeah, for your purposes the toilet paper rolls is, is a fine and cheap alternative uh, you know, you, I'm sure you don't have millions of dollars to spend on your wind tunnel that's right I'm all about fine and cheap alternatives McGruber. if we have the fan first then what comes next? The screen or the tubes? The, the tubes would come next. The tubes would come next, okay. Right. And then the screen at the end. And the, at the end, you get uh, as many of the last remaining little bit out as you possibly can. Okay, so the, the tubes could be right up next to the fan? Yeah, the tubes could be right after the fan. And then the screen could be right after the tubes? And the screen could be just, you know, a little bit after the tubes. Okay, and then you're saying at least the distance of the height of the fan between my project and uh, the fan. And, and what we would call the test section, which is where you would actually be putting your aircraft. And for your purposes, I mean, you could simply hang it from a thread, uh, you know, inside the uh, tunnel. Uh, right. That tunnels work different ways. Some of them actually support it on a stand, comes up from the bottom. Some support it just from threads, come down from the top. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And the, that was a question I definitely uh, had thought about earlier, and I sort of created a stand by making steps in foam. It's going to be kind of hard to picture, but the steps provide a very small, narrow base, which it balances on. And then as the wings hopefully produce roll to one side, they, it kind of rocks to the first step. And then it has a second step it can even rock to. So it's like uh, you can see like different stages of pressure. Yeah, that would work. In your cases, you're dealing with a, a model airplane that's probably going to be, you know, having a head-on wind speed of less than 50 knots. Yeah, like 50 real knots? Yeah, 50, yeah. Yeah, 50 nautical miles per hour. Which, explain for everyone what, what is a nautical mile per hour. Oh, a nautical mile per hour. It's, it's slightly longer than a real mile. So, yeah, a nautical mile is just a little bit faster. So, when you hear like a boat or a plane traveling at, uh, say, 100 knots, that's probably how many miles per hour? Uh, 100 knots would be about uh, 115, 120 miles an hour. Little, it's 
little bit faster than miles per hour. Okay. Well, I think I got enough information, and thank you, Rob. Thank you very much for being a guest on uh, my video number three for the Goose Project. Okay, great. I look forward to seeing you know, what your wind tunnel looks like there. Ed. Yes, and uh, through the magic of video now, we are going to cut directly to my wind tunnel. So we'll do the old Wayne's World uh, fade into uh, our imagination thing. So here we go. All right. We got our working uh, wind tunnel. Well, it's uh, more like a wind rectangle, but uh, as you can see, the model's in there, the fans are on. Now we go to the left. And to the right. There we go to the right. So you can see it's going to the left a little bit easier than the right. It's probably due to the steps in the bottom or my wing adjustments. But I think we've proven the concept that we can go right and left. Now you're looking inside the wind tunnel itself. And uh, going to the left, going to the right. Again, you can see it going to the right is a little bit more difficult. I think my model may be cockeyed, so I'm going to use my uh, patented wind tunnel rectangle adjuster stick and uh, correct the angle of my model slightly. Uh, yeah, it's one of those uh, practice your golf swing things. So anyways, left turn, right turn, there we go. Okay, taking a look from this angle, I'm going to just uh, show you that this fan is the, the fan doing the pushing. That other fan is really just there to hold up the darn plexiglass, which I'll explain what that's a plexiglass is in a minute. But so that fan's not really on, it's just the air from flowing through is turning that fan. Uh, so this is the fan that, that was doing the pushing. I'm going to turn it down. And uh, you can see it stopping and it was rotating. From our original point of view, it was rotating clockwise. Uh, so I think we did, in fact, counter the effects of the fan. Here is my honeycomb, based on the good advice from Rob. And uh, you can see I was able to collect, uh, I don't know, 12, 15 real paper uh, toilet paper rolls. Then I had to make fake, because... It's just I would have had to ask all the neighbors up and down every street within a mile to get enough uh, uh, toilet paper rolls. So what I did was I just took paper, inner taped them together, and then we, of course we have the screen, which is from our goes out in our front door in the summer. I just uh, borrowed that out of the attic and put that on the, the far side. So we got fan, honeycomb, and screen. And this deal. You know, it's a, it's a real MacGruber, MacGruber setup here. Uh, this thing is from my uh, drum equipment. I used to play a lot of drums for different bands. And uh, I just had this uh, standing up over there against the wall. And uh, I thought, wow, since my model's kind of big, instead of making, making it out of 10 cardboard boxes, I could just set this thing up, prop it up, and there we go. And this, uh, this guy here holding up this end of it is an actual drum stand from my uh, plethora of old drum equipment. So there we go. Uh, lucky, lucky enough that it's uh, see-through so we could you know, see what's going on easily. So that was pretty cool. See the reflections of the lamps in there. Sorry about that. I think we proved... Um, I think we proved that... Uh, it's uh, doing what we want with the wings, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe make some better wings uh, that are more aerodynamic instead of these kind of square, um, kind of uh, rough things. You know, I think we proved the concept, now it's time to make some maybe better wings and think about putting uh, a motor on it and uh, all that stuff, the, good, the electronics, start thinking about the electronics. So. Um, so we'll do that or something along those lines next time, all right? Thanks for joining me. Uh, Ed5K signing off. Uh, take care, and we'll see you next video.